So there's an achievement on the Black Ops 4 Zombies map tagged her Toten that I can pretty safely say is the oddest, most out there achievement in Call of Duty Zombies history. The actual steps for this achievement were never quite understood until about 11 months ago when someone released the decompiled game script for all of Black Ops 4 Zombies. This basically revealed exactly how to unlock this achievement. And let me tell you, even with the script, the steps for this are very, very strange. All right, here we go. We're on Tag Der Toten. And I will be trying to do something that two years later, I still have not done. I have seen gameplay of it being done, but it's only recently that people have actually figured out how to actually do it. And by recently, I mean like eight, nine months ago. So it has been decently well known for a while now. Okay, to make this happen, the first thing I need to do is I need to get all the powers on and then i'm also going to need a tnt bomb so i need to so that means that first of all i'm going to need these snowballs everybody who plays call of duty zombies just loves using snowballs it's the number one thing in the game like everybody just loves snowballs as much as i love the map tiger toten i still just have never bothered to go out of my way to do this achievement only because until right now i always thought it had to be done co-op okay so here's my first guy Okay, I just need to get these parts to this bomb. Dude, I literally... I said it in a previous video. Tagra Toten is my guilty pleasure zombies map. Like Tagra Toten is that one map that I think is probably not that good of a map, but for some reason, I just absolutely love it. And like I said before, I just feel like everybody has that one map that they love and everybody else hates. For me, it's this. Like I, I get why people don't like it. It's this big map. There's some unnecessary areas. There's a ton of like Easter egg steps that aren't the best, but for some reason, I just feel, oh, no i didn't get the the part but for some reason this map just makes me happy i don't know dude i just like playing it okay grab this i i don't I don't remember if you have to build this zip line in order to go across to there. The thing is, it's when I play tag, I just do the full setup and I don't think about like why I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Like, I know you have to rotate this. Okay, let me get the power on the first power, or I guess that's the second power technically. Okay, I need to, did I get him? Oh, I think I got him. Oh no, I'm done. We love snowballs. Everything I was saying about sarcastically liking snowballs earlier, I take back. I, I unironically love snowballs. Literally saved my life right there. Okay. There we go. This should be my third part. Craft my dynamite bomb. I believe I only need one of these. Hopefully I only need one. Then I need to go this way. And holy shit, you have to open 17,000 doors to open up the map Tiger Toten. All right, I need to grab this wheel. Um... All I gotta do now is get towards the end of this round. I will gladly take an insta kill. Pull out the strife and get as many quill kill quills? Get as many quills as quick as possible. Okay, turn the wheel. Let's go back up the lighthouse. Bro, for some reason I just got the urge to play some Call of the Dead. Maybe I play Call of the Dead somehow in my next video. Uh, round 50 Call of the Dead run. Okay, this is what I need. I need the zip line handle, and then we gotta make our way up here now to the extra area of Tiger Toten. That's pretty useless. Okay, this is what I need to open up. Okay, and then... Oh, I gotta have the power on. Of course you gotta have the power on. Okay, this should be the last power switch that I have to turn on. Should be the last thing I have to do as well. And then, now I believe that I can pick this up. All right, Herman, I gotta give you something. I gotta give you something. Please repair that. No, dude, the one thing about the Hermit is he takes a long ass time to repair these stupid gearboxes. Like he takes a solid solid minute or two to do this and it's not like the top of this lighthouse is necessarily an easy place to try to survive here we go give me the gearbox okay this is it i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this right i i have no idea how this is gonna work this is the moment okay so what we do we place the gearbox back i'm gonna pause and i i, I play very low sensitivity like 4.2 with 800 dpi which if you don't play bc just just know that's relatively low so i'm gonna turn my sensitivity up and then we're gonna stand here and i'm just gonna spin did it work? That did not work. All right, take two. This time I'm gonna spin like faster. All right, if I spin like this, what happens? Absolutely nothing, like literally nothing whatsoever. I'm confused. I don't think I understand how this works. Dude, so I just looked up exactly what you have to do and this is probably the weirdest achievement that they've ever put into Call of Duty Zombies. I'm not even slightly exaggerating. Like the reward for doing this is weird. What you have to do is weird. Basically what you're, 
dude okay let me just let me just get between rounds you sit here in the back left corner and you have to crouch and then you spin like this okay let me see if this works Hope, hopefully this works no still nothing oh yeah oh my god i did it oh, holy shit what i'm literally shocked holy what dude you have no idea how many try bro i've been recording for like just about an hour dude if i don't make it go is there any way to swim faster oh dude if i die under here go 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 what where am i swimming to how do i swim faster wait can you not die while you're under here i don't know where i'm swimming to ah what even is this what is happening where am i this is the weirdest achievement in call of duty zombies history i guess you just don't drown i guess you could just live forever okay we're chilling we're chilling in the water i'm dead i'm gonna die i'm literally going to die like this i this is how i die i'm gonna die in real life i'm dead and it spawns me back here. Are you serious? All right, so I guess I learned the hard way that I really, really, really should have built the heat pack. I didn't think personally that it was a complete necessity, but apparently it is. All right, here we go. Let me try this again. This is gonna take a bunch more tries, isn't it? Please, let's go, second try. Okay, this time, hopefully I'm actually well prepared. How fast can I move? Am I moving quick enough? Am I going to make it through this stupid water? I don't know where I'm going, like that's the problem. Like this isn't even that hard of a like thing. Just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. It feels like I'm swimming much faster than the last time. Hopefully I actually am. So I know the heat pack makes you move faster in water and it also like lets you not freeze over, which is really cool. I'm freezing over. Why am I freezing over? Dude, I'm like shaking. Like, please just get me to where I need to be. Like, you can only do this once a game. So I literally had to get entirely set up again just to get a second attempt at actually trying this. Dude, I'm not going to make it. I'm literally not going to make it. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I I, I think I just realized that you kind of like need your specialist to be active for this. I'm not going to make it. I, I'm, I gotta go again. I got I have to I have to do it again. I have to do it a third time. I'm losing my sanity. Okay, third time the charm. This game, I have all four perks. I have heat pack I'm building right now. And I have my specialist ready to go so I can regen my health instantly. There's no way that I mess this up again. Let's go! Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm not failing this time. Holy shit. Dude, if I don't do it this time i have all four perks i have stamina up. i don't even know if stamina up helps you move through this water any quicker it doesn't feel like it's it doesn't feel like it let's just be honest but more importantly i actually have my specialist off cooldown now the specialist once i get to 50 hp i'll pull it out and then hopefully it will like regen my health and armor which i'm pretty sure is the strategy for, for this uh i just hope i don't necessarily mess this up i i have the heat pad on i don't even know if that's helping in the slightest it feels like it might be who knows for sure though i didn't think swimming through this water was going to be the hardest part about this whole thing but apparently it just is apparently swimming through a little bit of water is just the hardest thing known to man it's just it's just literally impossible okay so i'm starting to take damage 100 hp oh no 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 there we go pull it out pull out the specialist yeah okay so i do regen that is very nice that's very very nice i'm in the home stretch i'm almost there let's go secret achievement this is it boys this is it mars tiger toten is on one of mars's moons the entire time who would have guessed it not me what a cool achievement very strange can you walk okay you can walk all the way out here to return tell me that this isn't the weirdest achievement in call of duty zombies history like what even is this you go on to a flinger you do a little spin it launches you underwater you swim through it and you see mars like what it's been two and a half years since this map came out and i've never did it once in my life let's return oh cool little transition and we're back that was very cool thank you guys for watching